Cropping Photos Cropping by retaining original template composition. With this method, the cropped photo will exactly fit within the area assigned to the template photo, retaining the original composition. Consider the following template page. Click on the photo to be cropped. Click the Crop button to activate the Crop mode. This mode can also be activated by using the keyboard shortcut key C. Notice a pink mask being applied on the photo. This is called the Crop Area Preview. If the photo has a border or mask applied on it, the border or mask is displayed in pink in the Crop mode. Being a boundary of the pink mask is used for setting the photo within the border or the mask. The outer boundary of the pink mask indicates that the entire portion of the photo lying outside will get knocked off after cropping. Also notice that in the crop mode all the other functions are disabled. Scale the photo diagonally with the mouse and move it to adjust itself within the crop area. Click the crop button or right click and select the exit crop option in the menu. You will be asked if you wish to apply the changes. Selecting Yes will apply the changes and selecting No will exit the crop mode without making any changes. Click Yes. The mode automatically changes from crop mode to the work mode. The photo gets instantly cropped within the template photo area retaining the original composition. Cropping by compromising the template composition. With this method, you can crop the photo as per your selection. In this method, the original template composition changes as per the crop area selected. Consider the following template page. Click on a photo to be cropped. Click the crop button to activate the crop mode. This mode can also be activated by using the keyboard shortcut C. Notice a pink mask being applied on the photo. This is the crop area preview. If the photo has a border or mask applied on it, the border or mask is displayed in pink in the crop mode. The inner boundary of the pink mask is used for setting the photo within the border or the mask. The outer boundary of the pink mask indicates that the entire portion of the photo lying outside will get knocked off after cropping. In the crop mode, by default, the photo is selected. For cropping the photo as per your selection, you need to adjust the crop area. For this, Right click on the photo to activate a menu. In the right click menu, click the select option and then the crop area option. Notice that the pink crop area is selected. Resize the pink crop area by dragging any of the nodes. Press the enter key on the keyboard to apply the changes made to the photo or press escape to exit without applying the changes. Alternately, you can also click the crop button or right click and select the exit crop option in the menu. The mode automatically changes from crop mode to work mode. The photo gets instantly cropped with respect to the crop area selected. Notice that the area assigned to the template photo changes with respect to the crop area selected there by compromising the template composition. Cropping by rotation. Consider the following template page. Click on a photo to be cropped. Click the crop button to activate the crop mode. This mode can also be activated by using the keyboard shortcut C. Notice a pink mask being applied on the photo. This is the crop area preview. In the crop preview mode, the center lines and the safe area is also displayed. If the photo has a border or mask applied on it, the border or mask is displayed in pink in the crop mode. The inner boundary of the pink mask is used for setting the photo within the border or the mask. The outer boundary of the pink mask indicates that the entire portion of the photo lying outside will get knocked off after cropping. In the crop mode, the photo is selected by default. For cropping the photo as per your selection, you need to adjust the crop area. You may now rotate the photo by moving the mouse cursor near the top right node of the photo until you see a rounded arrow. 
Once you see the rounded arrow, simply click the mouse and move it clockwise or anti-clockwise depending upon how you wish to rotate it. Once the desired angle of rotation is reached, simply leave the mouse button. You may scale the photo so as to make it fit properly within the frame. Once the appropriate settings have been done, hit the enter button to complete the crop with rotation. Remember that you can reset the crop operation by right-clicking on the crop photo and selecting the reset crop option.